For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Again, the statement has been, not all will go to heaven. God has set a standard for the entrance into heaven. And there is nothing you can do for that standard. It has been completed and has been fulfilled only through Jesus Christ. You're not going to step before God without Jesus Christ and be safe. When you step before God without Jesus Christ, it will be the great white throne. Your name will not be found in the Lamb's book of life and you will be cast off into the lake of fire that burneth forever. And yet, if you're to put your faith and your trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ, the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures, if you were to put your faith with your heart, man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth confession is made unto salvation. If you were to put your faith in trust in what Jesus Christ has done and what not you think you can do. The Bible records that your name will go into the Lamb's book of life. Reservations. Into a place called Heaven, New Jerusalem. And we're only accessed there by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. In most cases of you that hear this preaching of the gospel and reject it and hate it and curse it, you are not on the side of God. You are an enemy of God. You are condemned. Because those that love Jesus will love His Word, the Bible says. And the fact is that Jesus Christ came and suffered and died. Hey, thank you for being here today. Oh, you're welcome. God bless you, God. God said in His Word, not of works, least any man boasts. Now, you're not going to get to heaven and say, hey, look how great I was. Look how wonderful my church is. No, what the church is boasting today will not be in glory. Because we won't boast about attendance. We won't boast about our little ministries. But we will boast upon that which is God, the Son of God, the reason and the effort why we are in heaven. The Lord Jesus Christ. Our soul salvation. Our soul source of God's approval into a place called heaven. It is not anything of our own merit. And I want, as I preach, week after week after week, I want you to know that you cannot get to heaven by what you think. You've got to get to heaven by what the Word of God says. And the Word of God says you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You must be saved. And if you do not want to love, you do not want to honor Jesus Christ, I don't want you in heaven. Because you will be a filthy, vile sinner, and I'm going to a place where there is no more sin. There is no more death. There is no more tears. There is no more of this present world. And the fact is that God so loved you that He gave His only begotten Son that if you were to put your faith and trust in Him, Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must
must be saved. And that salvation is wrought by God through God. It's not a religion. Religion is man-made, but Jesus Christ is God-approved. And you must get off your church kick. I am a Baptist. I am a Catholic. I am a Jehovah Witness. I am, I am, I am. Where God says he's the great I am, and all must be rest upon the God I am. Moses said to God, what is your name that I might tell the children of Israel? And God said, I am that I am. And yet there are Christians today that have taken what God's name is and applied it to themselves. Let me give you an example. Are you going to heaven? I am a Baptist. That's no... Are you going to heaven? I am good. You ask me, say, Stalin, are you going to heaven? I'm going to heaven by the I am that is the I am, God Almighty, Jesus Christ. There's no room for what I can do because there is nothing I can do to save myself. And there's nothing that you can do to save yourself. And it is an insult to God when you think that you are so great enough. You are so wonderful. You are so, so up above God, Jesus Christ, that you have the access means into heaven. That you have violated the scriptures. And thinking that you can do what God has already done. And it's plain and simple. Not all go to heaven. The Bible says many will go the broad way that lead us to destruction. That is the words of Jesus Christ. They are, would be in the words of read in your Gospels if you have a Bible that Christ's words are read. And where Christ has said something and you say other. Now let's look at that verse. <clears throat> Use, well, let's say Jesus Christ first. Jesus Christ said, Many will go through the broad gate that leadeth to destruction. Many. You say, all will go into heaven. Everybody's going to go to heaven. Jesus said many. You say all. You have no idea what the English language is and you have no application of the principles of math. Now, if you want to give me all your goods for a set amount of money, I'll take it. Or many. All will wipe you out. Many will leave you a surplus. And yet Jesus said many are going to go the broad way. And man says all are going to heaven. It's, it's a conflict of the word of God. And when you say all that are going to heaven... You have, in fact, added and subtracted to the Word of God, which modern Bibles do that today. You have literally changed the Word of Jesus Christ to suit your pleasures, to suit your means. And when you stand before Jesus Christ at the great white throne, and you are cast off into the lake of fire that burneth forever, I can see Jesus echoing and saying, Many! That's what Jesus said. You need to get out of your minds and out of your heart that everybody will be saved. Everybody's going to heaven because they're not. In the words of Jesus Christ, many. 
Many of you here at Daytona Beach are going to burn in hell forever. According to Jesus Christ, because you will not believe on Jesus Christ as your Savior. You will trust your religion. You will trust your own heart. You will believe a liar, a deceiver. You will take the sides of Satan. You will not believe in God. You will describe and ridicule the Word of God, the Bible. And be many that will fall off into the lake of fire forever, thinking that all will go to heaven. And a big, great deception. Another thing that you believe and must be disproved is the fact that God loves everybody. That's a lie. Again, you don't know the English language. When I read to you weekly, John 3.16, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes on Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now when I read to you, for God so loved, that is spelled L-O-V-E-D. When you add an E-D or a D to a word in the English language, it makes it past tense. I can walk to the bridge, or I can, or I have walked to the bridge. There's a big difference. God can love you, and yet God can have past love upon you. And the fact is that the love of God was present when Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. God loved you when they buried his son. God loved you when he came out of that tomb three days and three nights. But God no longer loves you if you reject the offering by God, Jesus Christ. If you ridicule, if you mock, if you reject Jesus Christ, there is no love of God. Because when you jump down to John 3.36, He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon Him. How do you get wrath and love? It must be common English in the school systems today in the churches. You've got to come to the acknowledgement that God is holy and you are not, and God is not going to listen to your reasoning. And your reasoning is a big, fat lie. When all are going to heaven and God loves all people. That's a lie. Now, if you were to put your faith and trust, if you were to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved, then, and only then, does the love of God come upon you. And what is the love of God? It's Jesus Christ. What do I get? for the love of God through Jesus Christ? That's a good question. You get to call God Almighty your Father because He adopts you into the family by Jesus Christ. The man upstairs will become your father as he will adopt you into his family. Imagine the opportunity through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone to actually go to God and say, Father, I something need, want to praise, I want to thank Father. And then every day becomes Father's Day when you worship the Almighty God. The love of God through Jesus Christ as God takes you on as one of his children. 
You are adopted, the Bible says, where we can cry out, Abba, Father. If you do not love, if you have not believed on Jesus Christ, God is not your Father. He is your enemy. He hates you. Because you don't love His Son. And it's even worse when you do not advocate to Jesus Christ the authority and the deity that He is God. You're hated even worse. But the love of God is Jesus Christ. The finished work of Jesus Christ. And then upon Jesus Christ as your hope, as your Savior, God says, you're my son. You're my child. You become a child of God. You become a son of God. You are equal to the angels in heaven. You become like Adam, a son of God. By Jesus Christ. And that love of God only comes by Jesus Christ. How many times, how many weeks, and these messages are recorded, how many, how much of the times has mentioned Jesus Christ? I have not mentioned your radio and TV personality, I mean evangelism. I have not mentioned your church. I have not mentioned your preacher. I have not mentioned your rabbi. But I have spoken a name that's above all names, whereby you must be saved, the name of Jesus Christ. You walk up to God and say, God! Hi, God! Here's my certificate of... Learning. My certificate of college. And apart from me, you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. God? Oh, I'm a PhD. Apart from me, you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. You walk up to God and say, God, look, catechism. And God will look at you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. You walk up the gun, you got the American flag. Look, God, American! Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. You walk up the God on your knees and saying, Lord God the Father, I am a sinner. I'm only saved by the grace of your Son, Jesus Christ. Outside of that, I, I, I have no hope. I, I have nothing to offer you, God, but your son, Jesus. That's it. I come to you, upon with the cross, the tomb, and the empty tomb. That's all I have to offer to you, God. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter thou now into the rest. See, well done and enter into God's abode is only by Jesus Christ. You take your certificates, you take your diplomas, you take your whatever you have is not Jesus, and you just wipe yourself with it into the gates of hell forever. God does not take cash, check, or money order. He takes the blood of Jesus Christ. So don't go up to God with your 1040, look how much I've given God. God don't take 1040s. God does not take a form from charities on how much you give it. God takes the blood of Jesus Christ. God, I am washed by your son, Jesus Christ, by the sinless blood of God's blood, Acts 20, 28. There is nothing more that I can answer to you. There is nothing I can give but the blood of the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Come now into the joy of the rest. See, there is nothing you can do that Jesus Christ has not done already. And you live in the realm of illusion, hocus 
hocus pocus that somehow what I am doing, God will be so well pleased and happy. That God must approve of it because I am doing it. And that's where we come with you, think you are the great I am. And God told Moses, God speaking, I am that I am. Jesus said, I am the water of life. I am the blood. I am the bread. I am the good shepherd. And you steal from God by coming to God and said, I am a Baptist. I am with a ring of fifth degree. I am good. I am an American. I am a Democrat. God, look how great I am. And God will, I am going to throw you into the lake of fire. That's what I'm going to do. Because who do you think you are? And you may not realize it. You may not know. But when you say, I am, you are saying you're better than Jesus Christ. I would not want to be in your shoes. It say, good. I am Catholic. Catholic is better than what Jesus Christ done on the cross. Because you came to Jesus saying, Jesus. I'm a Methodist. Isn't that better than Calvary? Jesus, Easter and Christmas church service is so much better than the empty tomb. Oh, Jesus, I am so much in love with my pastor. Isn't that better than three days and three nights? Jesus, I am so good. I am so wonderful. My poop don't stink before you. And Jesus said, there is none that doeth good. No, not one. There are none righteous. And everything that you say you are, God will shoot down with what Jesus Christ is. There is no access before God without His Son, Jesus Christ. There are no tickets into heaven. You cannot earn certificates to get into heaven. You cannot open your wallet before God and say, okay, what do you need? God needs the blood of Jesus Christ to save your soul. I'm here to tell you, by the word of God, people here at the farmer's market in Daytona Beach, not all of you are okay, not all of you are going to heaven. You may think you are, but if your hope does not rest on the blessed hope, you will be in the lake of fire, burning forever. In amazement how the preaching was right and you were wrong. Because I believe at the great white throne judgment, you're going to somehow hear these messages again. Somehow, some way. Lord forbid if you guys see this bearded, ugly face again before you cast off in the lake of fire forever. Lord forbid. But if that's the witness against you, that the gospel has been preached to you, what you must do to be saved. And you keep going your way, then God may have to call us up as a witness against you. Now Jesus Christ said he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. There is no other way to the Father except by Jesus Christ alone. Get rid of 
your religion. Get rid of your good works that you do not have. And believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ to be saved. Be your faith be in the finished work of Jesus Christ to be saved. Church is only like a school. You go to church to learn how to be better, how to do better, and how to grow in the Lord. But church cannot save your soul. No way. And God's not willing that any should perish. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believes in Him should not perish. God is reaching out to you through Jesus Christ through preaching. If you were to put your faith and trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession. God shall likewise destroy thee forever. Psalm 52. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living. Shelah. Shelah. If you don't have Jesus, God does not want you in His presence. If you do not love Jesus, God does not love you. If you do not have Jesus as your Savior, God will not have you as His Son. If you do not want Jesus, God does not want you. It rests upon the finished work of God's Son, Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ alone. There is no access to the Father except by Jesus. The righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at Him. And I know God in the Bible are ridiculed and mocked and made fun of here at the farmer's market. I know it. The Bible says you're going to do it. But the Bible says there's a possibility when you are judged by God and at loss and cast off into that lake of fire that we may laugh at you. For you laughing at the word. Ha ha ha, you silly, silly fools. You would not listen to the preaching of the gospel. Ha, the Bible's true. The Bible's right, you fool. The Bible says God will laugh one day. And you don't want God laughing at you condemned and damned. Serious. Lo, this is the man that made not God his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself in his wickedness. Wow, that verse does not fit Daytona Beach. 
Christ. I'm not preaching to the, some heathen land. I'm preaching to a heathen Daytona Beach. You are not right with God. Now, some of you think you're right with God, but you're lying to yourself. You are being lied to. We had a guy here at Easter. Oh, he believed in that church and everything of that church. That church couldn't even give him a place to stay that night. Because he became only a number of baptism in the ocean. And yet through God, God acknowledges His Son and He writes your name in the last book of life for all eternity that cannot be erased. Your sins can be erased, but your name cannot be. Well done. By and through Jesus Christ. Well done. Oh, Dad, I got religion. <laughs> Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. God, I reached the 44 degree. <laughs> you hear that, Jesus? <laughs> oh, he believes that's better than what you do. <laughs> Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. Oh, God, look how good I am. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, he thinks he's so better than the gospel. <laughs> Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Oh, Lord God, only by Jesus, by the finished work of Jesus, Jesus was bruised. He was, oh, man, they beat him. They, they made fun of him. He bled. He suffered. Lord God, I'm not even willing to, to look at your face. Lord, it's only by Jesus. Jesus, save me! Well done. Thou good and faithful servant, enter thou into the joy of the peace of the Lord forever. Let me wipe away those tears. Let me give you no more pain. Let me depart you from the workers of iniquity. Come now and let me be your father and you can call me father. And you're my son. By my son. Big difference. Big difference. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of the God forever and ever. Talk if you love Jesus. Thank you. I am like a green olive tree in the house of the Lord. I trust in the mercy of God forever. Hey, look at that. I'm in the Bible. Because I trust in God's mercy. My wife is in the Bible because she trusts God's mercy. My daughter, my son, my, some of my family. Most of my friends are in the Bible, those that trust in the mercy of God. And yet you, without Jesus Christ, has no mercy of God. You have no grace of God without Jesus Christ. You have no truth. You have no way. You have no life because you will not have of the Son. He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see light, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. I will praise thee forever, because thou hast done it. Psalms 52, 9. I am going to heaven, praising the one that got me to heaven, Jesus Christ, 
and nothing what I've done. Nothing that I could do. When I get the glory, when Christians get the glory, it will be upon the one only that God was there, Jesus Christ. By the grace of God, by the finished work of God, through the cross of Calvary, the empty tomb. The gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again according to the scriptures. And you can die without God. You can die with religion. And according to the scriptures, God will say, Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. See, when we get to heaven, we will worship the one that got us to heaven. And it's not, oh, look how many bingo games I won at church. It'd be the one that suffered and died that loved me, God himself. I will be at the mercy and grace of the one that loved me. The one that created me. The one that suffered and died for me. My access and your access to heaven is only by Jesus Christ. And we get to heaven. We're only going to worship Jesus Christ. So if you're here and you don't like the preaching of Jesus Christ, you will not like heaven. Because it's about Jesus Christ. As you will enter into the lake of fire for all eternity. For not having Jesus Christ. Mercy and grace by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Who said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Those are the words of Jesus. That is Jesus saying the only way to God is through Jesus. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. That name is Jesus. And I will wait on thy name. The name above all names. It's not Allah. It's Jesus. For it is good before thy saints. Oh, I'm so good. No, there's only one good. That's the name of God. And that one good is Jesus Christ. As far as you're good... There is none that do it good. No, not one. As far as your way to heaven, it's a lie. It's a man-made religion by the author of liars, John 8, 44, Satan. You see, the great I am is not you. The wonderful I am is not me. But the one that said, I am that I am. Jehovah God. Jesus Christ. The I am of God is past. It's future. And yet it's also present. You see, before 1968, there was no preacher. This preacher cannot say tomorrow because I don't know what God has for me tomorrow. My life is a vapor. There may be no tomorrow for me. As of right now, I'm preaching the gospel. And other than that, who cares who I am, what I am? And yet you will say, where did God come from? He's always been the I am. Where is God tomorrow? The I am. 
And what about the God today? I am. God. That's God. That's not me. And what is the I am of God? I am willing that you come unto Jesus Christ to be saved. I'm not willing that any should perish. Jesus Christ, I am able to save thee to the uttermost. God, I am able to put your name in the Lamb's Book of Life through Jesus Christ. You, my goods, God, I am able to cast you off in the lake of fire. You, look how good I am, God. I am able to destroy thee out of my sight. You, anything but Jesus Christ, God, I am your enemy. And there is no peace, saith the Lord, to the wicked. You want love, you want joy, you want peace, that's only through Jesus Christ. And that's the access of the Holy Spirit. No Jesus Christ, no Holy Spirit, no love, no joy, no peace. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt get your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou wilt hear, well done. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes unto the Father except by Jesus Christ alone. 